I'm Anil Kumar and I'll discuss limit of functions from graph in this particular video. Now this has been a request from my subscriber and my subscriber is looking for a very complicated graph to understand uh, this concept of limits. Uh, so, so I decided to create one here. Uh, now describing a complicated graph itself is very difficult. So from my standards, it may be uh, complicated but I've kept it very simple okay the complication here you will see is that I'm using vertical and horizontal asymptotes so this is my vertical asymptote I will use couple of them to make it very complicated right so I hope it uh, you know contributes towards the criteria of uh, my subscriber okay so waiting for the comments finally once it is uploaded so this part here in the center, I'll make it this kind of a function which goes through the origin and it has this. So that is the vertical asymptotes. Is that okay? We'll put some numbers later. Okay. Now we want a pa parabola kind of a thing also. Just or maybe a square root will be more complicated, right? So I'll put a square root function this time. And I'm making it really complicated by taking the point on the vertical asymptote. You'll never see this uh, most of the time, uh, but okay, we are making it complicated. So, so I made a square root function which starts from a point which is along a vertical asymptote, right? So it's hard to believe it, but that's what it is. And <clears throat> let me add uh, one more function. Okay, so another color will do, okay. This is the light color with me. I'll use this one. Maybe, okay, that's okay. So on this side, I will have something which is uh, kind of, uh, let's say like this, okay. So I'm going like this and I'm making this function kind of like this. So the complication here is that we do have a horizontal asymptote, but my graph crosses the x-axis. So that is the uh, complication here. So now let me place some numbers here this is x this is f of x okay uh, let's say this point is uh, minus 4 i mean sorry plus 4 that'd be too complicated this is minus 4 right this is of course 0 and let's say this point is uh, minus 5 okay uh, <clears throat> okay so let's keep some other points also in the graph and let's say this maximum value is at uh, is at let's say minus six okay one more point will work uh, let's say here let's have a point here which is six okay so we have a graph here and we'll try to read limits of few uh, points i mean uh, limits of function when it approaches a and a values could be chosen from these values right so let me write down my questions and you may start writing the answers so this is my function f of x i'm saying find the limit of this function f of x when x approaches 0 that is my first thing right okay then we find limit of f of x as x approaches let us say plus 4 okay and then we have limit of f of x as x approaches now we'll approach it from left side or right side okay so we'll approach 4 from the uh, right side let us say and then we have a limit of the function f of x as it approach 4 from the left side okay so i think i can add some more we say limit of this function as it approaches minus 4 okay okay so this is another thing so let's first find these limits so to begin with we want to find limit of this function as x approaches 0 now, whenever you're approaching a value, which is zero in this case, you have to see from both left and right side. So if you approach from the left side, what do you get? What I'm trying to say is find the limit of this function as you approach zero from the left side, right? And also find the limit of this function as x approaches zero from the right side. You will see from both the sides, you are approaching the value 0. Is that okay? So the answer is 0, since both these limits are equal, and they are equal to 0. So when you find limit at a point, you have to check from both the sides. 
that's correct. Let's do this exercise once again for the point when x approaches plus 4. So when you are approaching plus 4 from the left side, what do you notice? So limit x approaches 4, uh, I mean plus 4 means just 4, right? We'll see when it, it approaches from the left side. When you are approaching from the left side, you are approaching negative infinity, right? You are approaching this point, negative infinity. However, when you try to reach this point from the, the right side, which is x approaching 4 from positive side, what happens? You are approaching this value. Let me call this value as 2. So you are approaching the value which is 2. Now these two values are different. So we say they are not equal. They are not equal. Since you are not approaching the same value, we'll say it does not exist. You see that? And from the graph it is clear it does not exist. We have a discontinuity here and this one is a jump, I mean, I should say infinite discontinuity. Okay, let's move forward. We are saying limit f of x when x approaches 4 from the plus side. Well, we just found it here. When you approach 4 from the plus side, you are following this path and you reach this place, which is 2. So this answer is 2 for us. Perfect. So this is 2 for us. So that exists. So if that is called one side limit. So this is one side limit. Is it okay? One side limit. Next we are looking into limit of this function when x approaches 4 from the left side. So when you approach 4 from the left side, we already found this was plus infinity. Is it okay? Now you can write plus infinity. It's infinitely large value. You may also write does not exist since infinite is not defined right so either way but we prefer to write infinity since we know actually that which direction it is going it helps to sketch the graph that's the concept the last one here is find the limit of the function when x approaches minus 4 now we are approaching minus 4 so we see when you approach from the left side you approach negative infinity from the right side, you approach negative infinity. So both sides, you approach negative infinity, right? So, so the answer is negative infinity. From both the sides, you're approaching negative infinity. Now at times, since infinity is not a defined number, we may also say it does not exist, right? But it all depends. It all depends uh, on the situation. What are the choices, right? If the choice is negative infinity, that's a preferred answer. I hope that really helps to find the limit from the graph, right? Now, as an exercise, what you can do is you can find limit of the function as x approaches, let's say, minus infinity. Can you write down this? Limit of the function f of x as x approaches positive infinity. Now, these two are very tricky. How do you find these limits? We find these limits from the behavior. You can see from here, as x approaches large negative value, the function is approaching zero. So this is defined and it is zero. Do you see that? It is horizontal asymptote y equals to zero. Now, if you check for the limit as x approaches positive infinity, it's going to positive infinity, or you could say it does not exist since infinite infinity is not a defined number. You get an idea, right? So. Well, I answered these questions also for you, so I should give you some more, okay? So let me add two questions for you now, uh, here. One of them will be based on one side limit. So we say limit of f of x as x approaches. Now what should I write? So let's say, let's say x approaches uh, 6. I mean, I'm not giving you this value. So let's say x approaches minus 6, okay? So x approaches minus 6. And this value here is, is 2 for you, right? This value here is 2, okay? Okay, so x approaches minus 6. And the other thing is limit of f of x as x approaches. Uh, so let me just uh, write a value, which is, which is 4 from the right side right so 
these are your questions for practicing i hope that helps i'm anil kumar you like the concept but i hope you must have understood what we're trying to see here feel free to post questions and look i'm looking forward to your comments if you want me to complicate it further let me know thank you and all the best